Okay, so we are not doing ELO hell this match. We're doing an ELO heaven. If you don't know what ELO heaven is, you're missing out. It's like a mix of the ELO hell series, but we swap it up and the people that believe they're in ELO hell, we put them in a lobby of their actual current MMR. If you watched the last video, the last game, you saw we did Naively Death, who's a jungler who had some of the craziest kda games consistently over the last like three weeks that i've seen ever and he's plat player we put him into a diamond masters lobby and he looked terrible and he didn't look terrible because he everyone was so much better he just by himself like if i singled him out he looked terrible so we don't usually do this but i'm just so mind blown by his kda that we're putting him into an elo heaven where he is playing in a plat slash high gold lobby. It's a 1500 MMR to an 1800 MMR lobby. Like he can't just do okay in this lobby. If he doesn't perform and isn't clearly the best player in the lobby, then I'm not sure what, what, like, I don't know what happened. I don't know how he got all those kills. And all, like, I don't know what happened to those games. I have to go do some research or something. But he's about to start and let's just, let's, let's hope. I hope for him, man. I honestly hope for him. I want him to pop off. the comps are fairly good lobby's good there's some good players in the lobby so i know dream and uh, the agni on the other team have probably i think the highest mmr in the lobby i think dream i don't know if we've done any low hell on him lately but i think he might believe he's also stuck in some form of elo hell and then you have naively who played thanatos in the last game now playing a Wheelix. should be interesting should be I'm not guaranteeing anything i'm saying should be oh man elo heaven dude it it giveth and it definitely taketh away i'll tell you that some games it takes away all my energy and i don't know how in like a bad way you know how in like school you'd have assemblies and it would just be the most boring speaker and everyone's asleep instant feeling if somebody is dog ass in one of these instant feeling so if you didn't watch the last game with this man he played thanatos jungle he leveled the three first, then he leveled the one, then he leveled the alt, leveled the two. So he leveled his abilities completely wrong. Then, mechanically, he missed multiple alts. I don't know how many sites he actually landed. His targeting was super off. And then when we talk about the build, the overall build I didn't have a problem with, but he went, a, he died early. And before buying even the tier two of his Jotuns, his first item, he bought a counterwork. And then proceeded to try to ult gank the solo lane with his ult and no item and just it, it was bad it was it was a rough game definitely worth watching because it went the full distance somehow but it was something it was a game <laughs> assembly where they shot a youtube video and it was an m rated was it just m rated like game or something or was it like actually inappropriate guys be a paid actor bro this guy if you look through his history as of me recording this game he had like 20 games in a row of ranked that he just got 15 plus kills and under 10 deaths every game some of the games he had 20 kills he had a 34 kill thanatos game and i don't understand how i hope i learn how like uh, you know he just he pops off here and shows up but i don't know What's up, Bammer? Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Oh, all right. Actually, like clean body blocking. I don't even see that from a lot of higher level players. This is a weird start because neither jungler is farmed at all. So both mid should be significantly higher level. <gasps> oh, he pre beads nothing. Oh, wait, he's still the pre beads ends up working. Oh, this is an awkward fight for both teams. I don't, I don't even know who comes out ahead here. It should be red getting a kill or, you know, controlling the lane. Whatever Mar is this? So this is the same dude who was just in your lobby. Uh, but we put him in a plat game, a 1500 to 1800 MMR game. If you ever join or open up one of these games and are missing anything, the titles or the team names on the top. So, so right here, 
And here have the MMRs. So the blue team will always be the MMR of the specific player we're watching, and the red team will be the overall MMR of the lobby that I asked to be made. So this is an Elo Heaven. We haven't done this in a little bit. If you sign up for Elo Hell, you join Twitch chat and do exclamation mark Elo Hell. It'll give you a Google Doc to sign up on. I tried to set it up for YouTube chat, but it will not work. I literally went in. Do you have the bots set up? It might not be modded, and that might be UI, so I have to mess with it at some point. Port, go win so we can do a rank one. That'd be sick. I haven't done any rank ones uh, at all this year. We're four months in, uh, like three months in, and I haven't done any rank ones. It's because everyone who hits rank one isn't masters, which, like, I'm not saying they're bad, but I just, I, I'm only doing rank ones if they're masters. Sub league signups will start on Thursday. They'll run, signups will go for like two weeks. You'll have time. This is not a 20 kill game though. Like that's what's crazy. So I will say, I, we have to talk about this. A lot of you guys have never played competitively and that's not me like ripping on you guys, but in the competitive scene, no matter if it's high level or low level, like in any form of competitive scene, people will practice completely different from how they will play a real game. Happens all the time. Like in a scrimmage, they'll run it down and be stupid and just make play after play because they're being stupid and they're not worried about anything. Then when they get into the real thing, they start worrying about things, they play slower. That's what I assume we're seeing right now because we're zero zero four four minutes in. This dude's averaging like 15 plus kills a game. He could end up with 15 more or more kills this game. I just don't know how that will happen. That was a great play from this Achilles. If Achilles had landed a stun right there, he, I think the wheel is dead. I will say something else. I think the average gold plat player in my lobby is significantly better than the average gold plat player. Oh, he gets a killer. I think. Oh. oh. He could have. You could have cooldown charted and just flipped him again. Oh. No. That's crazy. Anyway, I think the average gold plat player in my lobby dumpsters the average gold plat player you find in your rankings i've we've seen it like i've done so many plat and gold level lobbies for elo hells and stuff where the players don't look bad at all they like they look like high much higher levels oh this pre-beading is gonna get him killed there's no world he should be popping beads that early because that uh, we that uh naja should have definitely still just free ulted him oh no naja doesn't have ult so actually that was a really shitty beads. That was even more of a waste of beads. Another thing I'll point out, Alex, the jungler on red, is the lowest MMR in the lobby with a 30% win rate over 40 games. The ranked had just reset. So 40 games is a good, like, you know, if you have 50 games right now, you're you're playing a lot of smite. That Naja has a 35% win rate. He is 13 and 26. You just walk past so much farm, dude. Only to get hit by that ward. So now he's playing you. Wait, did you not walk over the ward? No, he knows. Ramo Afriel. Oh, this is good. Wait, this is good. Dream is bad. That was a good play from blue. Good play from the, uh, the Oelix. I mean, Bacchus was there too. So I don't know if dream gets away, but that pre beads from dream was dog shit. You either take the L there or you jump the wall and you fucking beads over the wall. So you still land on the other side of the wall. Or you just beads and jump right away. I I've never seen anyone pre beads and then not jump away. Yeah. I don't know what dream was doing there. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure if you asked him, he'd be like, I'm dead anyway. And like, then why did you beads? What's up, Justin? 
I know the hog. All right, well, one oh, looking looking better, not looking great, but looking better. I just can't see him getting more than ten kills this game. Like, you know, if he got eleven, I guess it wouldn't surprise me. But like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen kills, I just don't see it. Uh, like I said, if you look at the top, I know this is fairly new. At the top of the screen has the MMR of the person and the MMR of the lobby. All right, this is looking better. The back and forth for kills. I bet you, like we're not, we're not here yet, but I bet you he never invades. And that will be a really good way for him to just actually get a bigger lead than having 30 kills. He could have the kill plus invade gold and invade XP taken away. Hmm, I think they kill this Naja. I don't think he, they kill Surter. Yeah. Oh, no, you hold the two there, broski. Pop your cooldown shard. Oh, he did. He did. He did. I'm trolling. Yeah, that's a good kill. I definitely see the difference in play. Not just him, but there's no grouping. Like nobody. It's just a wheel or the Naja solo invading. That's never going to happen in higher level lobby. So I am seeing how the potential for a lot of kills happens. There's no world Naja's there by himself like that. That was just bad. And you have to know you can't kill the starter there as Naja. And it was good for him to rotate. Like he had a good wheelie rotation. But that kill's just handed to him. Oh, this is an amazing Wheelix team comp. But at the same time, the other comp is good too. Like there's nothing wrong with either comp. Honestly, I would take Red's comp over Blue's comp because Red's comp is better at team fighting. But at this MMR, do they team fight? Because for a low MMR pick game, that his Red's better. For 5v5ing, Blue is better. He's not changing his fucking thing off of purple. Looks more comfortable in a Wheelix than he did at Thanatos. Bro, oh, wait, what? Bro, you see him? Hello? That just looked weird. Stones behind camps are secondary buffs. So over the course of the game in the first 15 minutes, this camp he's on right now will spawn as a different color. When you kill it, a, to a totem spawns behind all the camps. That totem is extra buffage. So he just swapped to yellow. When he kills this buff and picks up yellow, he'll have pen. Uh, each color is a different buff. So right now he just picked up speed buff as well as that totem buff, which was on yellow. So he gets speed plus penetration. Uh, five flat and 5% pen. You pretty much just always have it on blue totem if you're any role but ADC and ADC most of the time has it on red or purple. He has more pen now than all of the Thanatos game. He's big. This is a snowball game for him. We might see a high kill game here. 12 minutes in. He has pretty much every kill. It is a close game though, but... Definitely him being up two levels on this jungler and I told you that jungler is the lowest level in the or lowest uh, MMR in the lobby 
So he can definitely exploit it. Dream should have pushed him into the tower there. Has Naja blink ulted yet? Uh, red on mages is fine, but blue is pretty much the standard for like the first 25 minutes of every game. Cooldown is just too valuable to not have. Like 10% cooldown is way better than red. Red only gains value the later in the game you go when you don't need cooldown anymore because you have full cooldown from items. He's a mouse and keyboard player. You can tell by how fast he's turning here. Thank you, Justin. Ever consider this guy looked at the eclipse too much today? Bro. Could you imagine? <laughs> Your smite games are being thrown because you're a fucking dumbass. That would fill in some blanks. Has this Naja ganked anybody this whole game? He's 0 2 and 2, so he killed somebody. I saw the Google search for why do my eyes hurt spike <laughs> today. Just shows how stupid people are. Good beads. If he lives, that's huge. That's massive that he he insta beats. He changed his totem. Armando, I'm not searching up shit, you bitch. Video on how difficult gods are in each role to play. What do you mean? Elaborate. Yeah, he didn't. He couldn't pre beads. He, well, if he had pre beads, he wouldn't have got Naja ulted. He should have beads the Naja ult, but since it was a free Naja ult, I'm not going to blame him. I'm just glad he beads instantly to run away and to just sit there and panic and die. I think he's doing nothing to influence the game. No, he's influenced the game. He's definitely influenced the game. He's had good ganks. Uh, like his gank on Dream was good. He's solo lane. He's been in solo lane and created a lot of pressure in solo lane a lot. This is a weird. That's a weird ult to me. I don't think I ever want to see him ult there. Now he's just jumping in and eating damage. Huge Vulcan ult. Huge Vulcan ult. I think that fight was a really bad fight from uh, the the Wheelix. He never should have ulted. Should have knocked up and dipped. Will every class get their infinite stack item? I have a feeling it's just hunters, bro. If you've been around long enough, you know high res just slurps off the hunters and the solos. They really don't give a shit about jungles, and if mids are good, then they leave them alone. If mids are shit, then they tend to leave them alone. Uh, but if you're, yeah, it's it's pretty much. Solo ADC just gets everything. Always has, always will. I can always rely on you. I know. Renegade, you're getting drunk and grinding ranked, bro. What are you doing? Hello, Sero. What's Dream's build? Oh, uh, Dream's build's fine. I don't know. The oboe is a little questionable. To be honest, I don't think he needs it. But I don't think it's bad. I think he went it because he thought he was ahead. But honestly, if he has kins there, I think he gets a kill before he does. Hang on. 
Devinator, you're just missing abilities. You don't miss that one ability or you don't miss that one auto attack when they're dead. So at the 17 minute mark, I'm I'm saying he's not Nilo Hell for sure. Like this is a Nilo Heaven video. He definitely I mean he's playing well, but it's not like absurd. It's I don't know. That's a crazy trade that Dream just got. Um I'd say like, you know, he's solid, but not solid enough to go up, you know, to diamond. Still wondering how he got a 30 kill game, a 20 kill game, another 20 kill game, a 22 kill game. What, you played a lobby like this? No. Uh, no, that's that's another series that I'm doing it. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not doing it tonight. Pyromancer gives you a bomb that does a thousand damage to objectives and the towers. So you use it to push phoenixes. It hits gods for like 200 and it's really hard to land. So, you know, rarely will you ever use it on a god. It is very funny to watch a game. You know, this is a plat level game and there's no grouping at the 19 minute mark. Where if you go back and watch the last game that he played in, that was a masters, you know, diamond masters game. They were grouping. There was like four man. There's four before at level at 11 minutes in the duo lane, like the farthest lane away. All the supports use it on the gods, bro. I've been preaching that. I, I hate when I see somebody pick up the bomb and then a fight happens and it's gone. Like the bomb is gone. I'm like, bro, I think bad players. No offense. It is. That is part of you being bad. If you think that's doing a thousand damage to gods, you're drunk as fuck. That shit hits for like 200 before mitigation. But it'll hit fire for like 950. It'll hit your towers for a thousand. Are the teams using comms in the masters diamond lobbies? Yes. In these lobbies, I have no idea. That is the craziest Naja. Wait, Naja's alive. What the fuck is his build? Transcendence. If he'd gone regrowth there, he'd still be alive. Oh my oh my gosh, that's a clean up. There you go, nice. This is crazy. What's up, Brady? Thank you for the 84 months, dude. That's a lot of months. Oh, the difficulty of gods to pick up, like a like a tier list for for a difficulty tier list essentially is what you mean for each role. Bro, if Bomb did a thousand, oh, there'd be so many fucking cool combos and plays to make. Get an Athena taunt, four man taunt onto a bomb, and everyone just blows up. See, this should definitely be, I think, serrated, not Titans. I might have Titans on Smite Source, but. I think everyone's serrated in these games. Let's go. What the fuck? They did zero damage to this guy. That Agni is chunking. Okay, this honor is a little deep wait no he's not a little deep they're they're farming them he's waiting for a leap he should have just reset bro you can be back in this fight full health this is insane if you just reset your full hp and you're, you're able to run at them or you could be farming your buffs and right. This is this is the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. You 
No, MMR is is a set. You start at 1500 MMR when you play ranked. It's, it has nothing to do with casuals. You do have a casual MMR though. Cuckoo is one of the easiest and is the best mid lane god in the game, even after the slight nerfs. A lot of easy gods are very good in roles right now. Agni is probably the third or fourth best mage in the game for mid lane. Zeus, I'm not sold on Zeus at all, dude. Zeus is definitely not top five. Zeus does a ton of damage, but Zeus also dies pretty much instantly. So yeah, if you play as a team comp without frontline, then sure, you're gonna be great on Zeus. That's the goal, Matt. I mean, I want people that think they're an ELO L and I'm, well, you know, like we're proving they're not to just get better and then rank up anyway, you know? I think most people benefit from this and when they're not an ELO and, you know, they're not as good as they think they are because they realize, oh, I'm, you know, I'm delusional. I thought I was a god and I'm actually kind of dog shit. And now I know how to not be dog shit. I'd say Baba's number five on my top five mids. Baba's always good. Like she's not been bad at all for so long. People just don't play her. She's very hard to play around too. Like not on purpose. Like she's just hard to play around. Yeah, I think my top five mids, Cuckoo, Thoth, Agni or Tiamat for three, five, four, and then Baba Yaga for five. I'm glad he didn't go in there. He's being way more patient this game than on a standard host game. He would just standard host all out of just for no reason to engage the late game like this. They're up 9k gold. Why aren't they fighting? That Achilles build. Oh, he's all under leveled. So it's gonna be bad. He did no damage, but he's also under leveled. Oh, yeah, that Achilles is so far behind. What the fuck? The pre beats? What the fuck was that? All right, I don't know what GM is trying to do, but he ain't doing it. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh no! Bro just traded beads. Only no one knows it. Dude needs to learn to reset faster. He spends too much time not resetting. It could just be full health so much more often. He's 700 gold away from Heartseeker. Not even. It's 500 gold away from Heartseeker. If he back farms red speed back, so he can get his Heartseeker and they can go do fire. I don't know why low. I don't think lower rank players realize how fast you get out of base, especially on a Wheelix, dude. Like you're zooming. He wants to change off of blue. Yeah, he's not getting this art seeker now because he's splitting everything. Uh, Serrated is definitely better than Titan's Bane, but Titan's Bane's not bad. You have to realize Titan's Bane has raw power where Serrated doesn't. 
so he's getting 40 power all the time and i'm pretty sure serrated is 25 power and then you get more as you use abilities so you know the down versus up time is arguable why would you ganesh all that hello skull Bro, if you are still on about my teammates throw my game, I have ragers, I have rage quitters. It's been proven that if you play, you know, 10 games, uh, 50 games, 100 games, you're going to have very similar amounts of people trolling and losing you the game versus them trolling on the other team and giving you free wins. So if you're still complaining about that, you are delusional, you are wrong, and you need to wake the fuck up, possibly grow the fuck up. You just only pay attention when you get a loss because it's frustrating. But the amount of times that you have a troll, you definitely get a troll on the other team that gives you a free win. So if your excuse has anything to do with but I have troll teammates, no one gives a fuck because everybody has troll teammates. He's being way more patient, which I do like to see, but his engagement ain't like he's running straight at them. They need to not see him. He should be looping here. You should want to come in from the side. It's too easy to react. This is this is a uh, like a bad player. Okay, he's just dead. What the fuck? Oh, is he gonna live? No, he's dead. That was so bad. This is something that works at, in shit brackets because people will just watch you walk at them and not react. And in high level games, they do damage to you. You don't get to just walk at them. Survivor's kind of going crazy. He's had a lot of kills this game. That was such a bad play from him. Why am I? Oh yeah, you got Matt. Wait, when is the Mavs game? Are you at the Mavs game right now? I'm hopping in my car. I'll be there in no time. Oh, he's dead. He just ended. Wait. Hey, Denegus. He stood on it. Yo, can you clip that, please? I gotta. We gotta. We gotta make that into a short. That is. That is embarrassing. Oh, he's back up. Shit. Full build yet? He is now full build. Purdue or UConn? Isn't the game up right now? I mean, I, I don't see you. I don't know how UConn could lose anything, but if they do, that'd be crazy. I don't care who wins, to be honest. I would just, if I was betting, I would have bet UConn. They, they just threw that whole fire giant away, and now the next fire is enhanced. They still up gold. It's just getting to the point where that gold doesn't matter as much. You played pro slash, or I guess if you were to still play a top match with a five band with comms, would you ever have team overlays or timers? No, you're not allowed. That's against the rules. That's cheating. There's actually uh, somebody who was doing that and they got banned not too long ago, like four years ago. They, we would type timers in the chat. Like, you know, this is the timer for when it's coming up. So you'd say like on her beads X time. That's what they were using a, uh, a macro to do that. And they got banned for it. That was also a, another bad gank. I'm, I'm decided no way death thinks he's in evil hell. I don't know how he's getting the KDA games he's getting. But there's no way he's in evil hell. He's making too many mistakes. Like, too many very obvious mistakes. He looks fine in this game. Like, he looks good, but not great. Not better than everybody. He looks like he fits in, but isn't the worst player in the lobby or the best player in the lobby. Like, right now, Agni, 
or Rama, to me, look like the best players in the lobby. Probably would go more towards Agni. They have made mistakes too, though, so it's not like they're significant. Like, like if you were arguing a was in there, I would wouldn't fault you. I gotta swap back. Oops. Thank you, Impraxis. Can't even Aegis fire giant knockup. Yo, you know he panicked. Yeah, the guy who got banned was Totodile. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the way timers work in Smite makes the most sense. Like, it's really easy if you play Smite or not enough to be at a competitive level. Um, timers should just be secondhand. Like, I don't even need to think about it. I just know. It's always been like that for me. Like, you just know, like, oh, you know, buffs are about to be up. This is about to be up. If you ever invade, you know what? It should just be known. For beads and stuff, that's more of, you know, the timers are valuable. But also for a rank game, like, you should just have an idea. Even if it's not exact, you should have an idea. Like, oh, I'm playing, you know, Naja. I just stunned, ulted, and he beads at three minutes. So I've got another two and a half minutes to gank him. If I can't gank him again, his beads are back up. Yeah, some of us did play Smite when there were no map timers. I think the way timers work makes sense. Dude, people don't know how to do Fire Giant. Yeah, this is smart. I don't know who's pinging that. If it was him, smart. No reason to push the towers down when you can just get these them for free off of this. Then go set up for fire. What's the damage looking like? Yo, he's... Oh my gosh, he's way lower than I thought it would be. This Najah's also getting railed. Did Najah swap to full tank? Najah going double tanky is probably the play here because he's playing like dog shit. The objective timers are a little babified for sure. Like being able to see when fire and stuff and gold come up, that was not a thing for a long time if you weren't there when it died. So yeah, it, it would be... Uh, It'd be nice to go back. But now just the lowest number more in the lobby, so it is expected. Yeah, if this was a full lobby of 1750 to 1800, 1850 people, I, I don't think he's six to an eight. So like the fact that this is some lower gold player, like gold in plat layers, some are low gold like this Naja. This is not enough for me. I expect it better. What? Okay. Uh, he just walked through a full... <gasps> did Rama just... Did Rama just snipe that guy? They just won the game. That should be the game. Did Rama snipe him? He got hit so hard. Oh, I looked at naively death matches. He's getting 20 and 30 kills, but he ain't doing it against this caliber of players, I guess. I mean, he must be playing some low level. I have to go look. I'm going to go double check. I mean, this looks like he he's a good player in this lobby, but not the best and not running. The, he really didn't run that at all. I don't know if it's a team diff. He played good. Like, he was definitely doing more than the last game. But I want to... I want to look up, like, what ranks he's playing against. So, like, let's just go to a really higher, higher kill game. Let's go to this one. Okay, so everyone is gold in that lobby. And he's by far the highest rank. Oh, you're stacking him, bro. Does he queue with you every game? If he queues with you every game, you're stacking him. He, he's You're boosting him. He's boosted. You're getting hard boosted, bro. Yeah, I, I know it's your brother. If you queue with him every game, that's why you are hyper limited, dude. First of all, in this lobby, if you lose, you lose way more than you gain. But the lobbies are so easy for you because everyone is fucking dog shit. 
you're playing people 400 MMR lower than you. Well, I'd say 300 MMR lower than you. Yeah, like three to 400 MMR lower than you. If that's consistent, if you play with him every game, that's 100% why you're, that's why. You're just boosting your stats at that point. You're also fucking yourself because like I said, if you lose, you lose way more MMR than you would have won. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, look at this. You're playing with a bronze three player. This game's this match is a little bit different. This match is not as low, so you perform really well here against people like just slightly lower than you. Uh, but like, look, twelve hundred MMR. So this game, you probably didn't lose any MMR. You weren't supposed to win this match. You probably didn't lose a single drop of MMR. Your lobbies are just you are significantly better than pretty much everybody. I mean, this game, this guy, I guess, was close to you because he also had a solid game. Um, but you're just you're in a lobby filled with shitters. The fact that you're not the lowest MMR in any lobby is what's concerning. Let me see. Let me go to like a game where it wasn't that great. Where you were kind of like this game. Let's see. You were super average this game. Stats wise. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's a, it's a more average, higher MMR lobby. Why is this guy got shit on? Let's go to another one. I think that's just what it is. Like off of the quick glances. You're playing in some really low level games. Baka, Baka kind of sucks. I don't know if I would really have counted that, cared about this one. You're just the highest MMR in every game. Yeah, you're regularly playing down. Um, so it makes you look like you're way better. <clears throat> that's all. That's like, I'm not even trying to shit on your parade here, dude. But that's what's happening. You're getting crazy games because you're there are people in your lobby that are on your team and the other team that are just super bad. And then when you play against people, so I'm going to do another EOL. When you play against people that, uh, that are your MMR or higher, you kind of just perform averagely.